Oh god. How much Hello? does this game cost? Sixty dollars. No, it is a triple A release. I my better friends. get the power back on. Yep, yep, yep. What's this? I already see something. Do you know when Cyberpunk drops? December 10th. We will be playing the ever living shit out of that game when it launches. Don't remind him about Cyberpunk. Dude, I get reminded about Cyberpunk every five minutes, alright? Divine27, welcome, welcome. I don't even need people to tell me about it again, because I always just keep remembering it, and then I get sad again. No dead sec registration detected. Identify yourself, or I'll seal the exit, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Sabine sent me. I'm a friend. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DeadSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Beware anyway, of his arch nemesis, don't connect me to the dead set Ron so the Margarine Plane. Possibly imagine. I mean, catch up on what I missed. <laughs> oh boy. It. I'm reconnected to the network. Downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DeadSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? Hello, and welcome back to the upload. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS 3.0, the city operating system that's now powering all of London. Great. For those of you who need reminding, as if anyone does at this point, CTOS was first used in Chicago in 2014 and then San Francisco in 2017 before coming here to London. And every time it's been rolled out, it's been pretty much an unmitigated Did they just disaster. retcon the war? For those of you who are listening who are lucky enough not to be here in London's chaotic scenes, it's worth remembering that the Telecoms Tower is now owned by Bloom. The tower looms over northwest London. It's always been a communications hub, acting as part of the UK's television and communications network. Although there's been some secrecy around its use, and now that Bloom owns it, it's only even more secret. Yeah, now everything that's part of Bloom's city surveillance operation is run through the telecoms tower. And I have to say, it looks completely ridiculous. It's got that silly crown thing at the top and all the blue light. What's that even about? What does it do? I don't see that there's any purpose to that at all. It's a blight on the skyline, if you ask me. And it's become the main point of control for millions of people. The system network and Bagley are both operated and streamed from there too. And don't forget about the self-driving cars too. I always thought they were just running on their own. No, CTOS is the big control system behind the cars. There was a point back in the earliest days of self-driving car technology that they operated by themselves. They used to use a series of sensors to see the world around them. Radar, for instance, would look far off into the distance, while LiDAR would detect objects nearby. And while these cars still use uh, some of this technology, Bloom CTOS know. and its detailed maps and data on London really makes Bloom be able to take control of it. And CTOS can take control of your car if you're parked incorrectly. It's no surprise that it was made mandatory to have a self-driving car. The system is so bad, though. It's so annoying. Whenever I try to use one of the shareable self-driving cars, I always find myself stuck in traffic jams or roadblocks. Not to mention the accidents. I've heard so many stories of cars shunting into the back of others. I think they're worse than human drivers sometimes. The technology was meant to make things better, but Bloom has made it so bad that it just makes London even more chaotic than it was before. I'm giving up on the cars. I'm only using the bikes, which are not self-driving at the moment, at least. And don't even get me started on the data. Everything that Bloom sees from your movements around the city and the self-driving cars is collected and feeds back into its big information control system. Oh, not you and Bloom and privacy again. You're a broken record. Not as broken as our city's cars. Got him. I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Who could be brazen enough to set DeadSec up for the bombings? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. 
I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DeadSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Uh, don't they realize what Bloom did in San Francisco? Okay, so the thing is, and that whole little video bothered me, and one of the reasons it made more sense, I guess I should say, is this another one? Okay, yeah. It, it was in more than just these locations, though. It, it was in more than two places. Um, CTOS was implemented all across the United States. As of the end of Watch Dogs 1. So, like, just saying those two sites were it, it's kind of like, no, those this were the biggest London incidents calling. were. You're listening to Buccaneer, your pirate podcast source for what they don't want you to know. I'm Tash, and this time we're giving a special shout out from us to the boys and girls so and like the Signal and Intelligence Response Service. It's like, uh... as sirs. Why not? They're going to be listening anyway. They're listening to everything. They probably know that you're listening to this show right now. But don't worry. We're not going to say anything bad about a massive, unaccountable spy organization. Why do I like retconning? Why do I not like rewriting of story and war? And shut down free speech. Instead, we're going to no look way. at how Sir became so powerful. And as usual, we'll keep everyone's names and locations But it's secret. not the U.S. So That's Sir not the point. Come looking. Them. The point Charles is that CTOS was a success in a lot of locations. In post -communist states. It was a non-success so in, in two specific locations. You know, we're looking at all the wrong things when we look at Britain's crisis. There's a lot of uh, concentration on data and how that's been used and, and manipulated. And what we haven't looked at is the power structures and the profit that lies behind this. For example, if we examine what actually happened, you know, there's a, there's a company that's really very interested in uh, selling passports and making it easy to uh, provide visas for investment and so on. And historically, throughout the world, they've been working with this big data manipulation company in order to overthrow governments. And then suddenly, all the chickens came home to roost. Nobody could find any receipts for what was paid for. Nobody could figure out how things were done, but everybody had a feeling that something really stunk and they couldn't figure it out. And yet it was standing there in their face the whole time. So there's a couple of different ways that we got where it is that we are. I mean, one, you have a lot of uh, smaller organizations, smaller power groups, uh, companies as well, um, who are bending things just a little, oh, we'll compromise a little bit, we'll bend the rules a little bit, um, and try to achieve what it is that we hope to achieve that's good for us. And, and if you add all of that up, what you end up with is a big wall moving in a big way um, from a lot of little buttons being pushed. But also there's this other thing that's going on here is the gathering of data and the analysis of data has authoritarianism contained within its DNA. Um, it is by its nature a tool for authoritarianism. Uh, and it has been used in that way. How does big data look into our lives? James covered it for the pre-crisis press. We're starting to see the merger of private data and that with data held by the state into what are called social credit systems. This is hey, hey China has one of those. It's monitored and totted up by a central system to sort of score you as a person, a bit like a credit card, but predicated on all Are of we your speed running this? Than just, no. Uh, the money you're spending. And this can have profound impact. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even emerge, touched these. Which will punish you and stop you from doing things in society based on your behaviors and this can be as trivial as if you jaywalk if you cross the road in the wrong place yeah now we're caught up so i'm having a nice enjoyable play hope your neighbors you good stuff and, and then this can be used to sort of china like, has person. everything and this could mean for example oh, no. travel privileges being able to travel first class or being denied from traveling first class to not being allowed to travel at all uh, these systems are very real and very possible because of all of the data that is now held on us Ian was a veteran political writer and podcaster back in the days of pre-crisis Britain. 
is the world we're living in now fascist? Well, this is what mm -hmm. fascism is. It is the complete and total control of the individual. The desire to basically say to the individual, nothing in your life matters. On yeah. an individual basis, you are now part of the whole, part of the nation. And the only meaning that you will find in your life is to become part of the nation. What is a nation? The nation doesn't mean anything, right? The nation is basically just encapsulated by the leader that takes over, that claims that he, you know, has this sort of access to the soul of the country, to the soul of the people. He never does, it's just a myth, but that's what they go for. And on that basis, they take the right to control every aspect of your life, from who you talk to, to where you eat, to where you go to hang out with your friends. I and mean, what we're seeing now is a contemporary iteration of this process where you get corporations and the state operating in tandem, basically molded into one another. But that isn't that rare. I mean, you saw exactly the same thing in Nazi Germany. You look at the concentration camps. Oh, there we go! Slippery slope fallacy! That took about 30 seconds camps, before we had to bring Nazis in. Every time, fascism chat. Often works Every time. And it's doing the same now. That's the way in which they track what you do. That's the way in which they track who you talk to. They operate as each other's proxies. So if you're we are uh, you think 40 like minutes in and we've already done the slippery slope. Right. They're watching all of us. Yeah, slippery slope fallacy has already been pulled 40 blocking. minutes into the game. Keep listening, keep sharing the show, and Good keep shit. it encrypted. They're watching us, but we're watching them too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking amazing. Subtle, aren't they? Chat, did you know that fascism comes from Germany? It comes from the Nazi Germany land? Oh. This is the one we've heard, right? Yep. Okay. Q2 bans Nazis. I hope so. Because fuck Nazis, chat. Point is, not every authoritarian is very close to Not every authoritarian and government is Nazi Germany. That's all I'm saying. Holy shit. little voice. Is your memory intact? Authoritarian is a hard word for me to get. It's kind of similar. I no. Okay, so this is called a fallacy. Um, so it's something that but logic doesn't dictate to always make sense. It has its own fucking term called the slippery slope fallacy. Which means that you're diving chance. immediately into Nazism and comparing it to any out. authoritarian government. It's not the case, I'm chat. Still with us. I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. Listen to me. As far as London is concerned, Deadsec is responsible for the bombings. And anyone still working for them? Is persona non grata. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if Dead Set can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with Uber you. Eats. Yeah. What do you say? She gets food through Uber Eats shit. Well, sometimes you have to do what's right. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DeadSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the same... Cool. Tech points can be found throughout London using the purchase tech upgrades. Gadgets, weapons, and the essential tech. items in your DeadSec kit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Remy Likey. Okay. Remy no longer Likeys. Why is it that every time we play a game, guys, like this now in like the 20s, they get rid of like the beautiful trees and give me this bullshit? This menu looks like shit. I miss trees. Alright, that's what I'm saying. Infiltrator spider bot, of course. It's the correct response, chat. I'm hoping each person has like different things. That'll be lovely. Team loadouts, edit, gadget. Hell yeah, infiltrator spider bot. 
Weapons? Sure. We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's we called dinosaur a programmers. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at uh, you. Come on. You're so right. You're so right. Oh shit, we gotta make Ronald style. What is this shit, chat? Hold on. This better not be a fucking. Let's try and buy something we can't afford. Okay, good. I was gonna say, is this microtransactions already? Are you already drowning me in microtransactions? I was about to. I was Albion about to will say, escalate Chad. if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DeadSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DeadSec contact. Not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. Please get the iconic pig mask. No. Just because you asked for it, I'm never going to use it. DW, welcome to the stream. Hold on, let's look at the mask, though. <laughs> I'm the worst. Oh my god, that looks like shit. Nah, 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 nah. Ronald is the king, Chet. Alright. He's the King Slayer. Also, I love our hoodie. It's a Hope County hoodie. Tying it back to that Far Cry chat. What the hell is this? Photo booth? Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, look at this. This is dumb. I love it. Oh. Hold on. We're in the 90s, chat. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's because it's still set to... Eh. Who, who decided this is a good idea? Eh. Okay. Advanced options. Is there, is there no... We did it. Okay. All you need is fisheye ones. Uh, said that life was gonna be this way. Ba -ba 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 hey, chat. I haven't mentioned this recently, but I fucking hate mannequins. I don't like this. I'll be right down. Could you use the warm up? No, they're called mannequins. Yeah. Yeah, they're not they're not frozen dead people. Let's start with some basic strikes. Hit me. Don't be shy. Frozen mannequins. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. Couldn't have done that better myself. Nice one. You hold mannequin hands. I have many Quick questions. on your feet now. You want to create distance. You're getting it. Nice one. Cool. You can music time that. Pogarinos. Mannequin hands if you want to buy some. This all feels like lies, oh, chat. Feel like you're fibbing to me. You want to catch these hands? Right, gear in order. 
Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you Why are we so slow? Because I'm not running. Now I am. I was doing RP walks, guys. I know after the breakneck speed. Why, even when running slow, leave my old man alone, big pot. All right. Um, but after the breakneck speed of one and two, it's gonna be, it's gonna be so nice to like slow down. Now you can recruit. Perfect. Where would you like me to get started? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. Albion's abused their authority to consolidate power. They're holding on to it by keeping everyone afraid. So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. Let's go find the nursing home chat. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Ah. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You can... <laughs> Yeah. Well, we're gonna go track down a whole bunch of elderly people, Chad. Be there for you. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. No. Talk to him now, Rem? No. Do we have to talk to him? Or can we just keep him as a potential recruit? I got a mission for him. Oh, we have to actually talk to him. Okay. Sorry, hold on. Stop this right now. Oh, shit. <clears throat> you seem smart. Like someone who understands what's really going on here. Dead check, right? Good. You can give me an end with something. That's what we're here for. What's going on? <laughs> My friend's gone <laughs> so missing. It starts, it starts chat. So it starts. They can't be bothered to pick up their damn phone. I'm really sorry to hear about that. Not that I miss him or anything. Sod's a real bastard. But they're my bastard. Rest easy, man. We'll track your friend, promise. So someone's gone missing. Diamond a dozen that. Where do we start? Well, we could knock on every door in the city and see if they've got any abducted people on the premises. But it'd probably be smarter just to snoop around their last known location. Agreed. Give me those coordinates. She looks old. <laughs> this is going to be a good playthrough chat. Oh, he's definitely old. Low mobility? Hell yeah, he's got some back problems. Potential recruit for sure. <laughs> Choker, how's it going? <sighs> this is literally Pokemon, except for... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We're just tracking down all the old people, chat. 
Good stuff. You look old. You're young. Oh, shut up. What do you expect me to do? Drive on the left side of the road? Pfft, this is a merit way. <laughs> Elderly woman. No, no, no. Come here. Yes. Yes! Might I do some vehicular manslaughter? I don't call it vehicular manslaughter, guys. Alright? I call it feeding the machines. She can bail people. Oh, this is great. We've got a good start. Please tell me all these are staving, by the way. Oh, we've got the old person crew beginning, chat. The old person. <laughs> we got some work to do. Wake up, samurai. This city's gonna burn, chat. <laughs> <laughs> no one suspects old people exactly you sell you see a 90 year old dude you're not expecting him to like suddenly be hacking into all your information all right like that's just a real thing oh this isn't even the location i was supposed to be going to whoops Yo, that's what's up. I can make the buses already back up and do the stuff! Yay! Keep going. Perfect. If they can outrun me, they're too young. How about you? Theater critic. I want her. Drone, search. Yeah, drone. Search, dude. It's okay. Oh god. It's gonna be such a thing to get used to. Hat the cars and make mayhem. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about, alright? I don't ha do anything with the cars, guys. I don't I don't do anything with them. Yep, that's what I meant to do. Yep. Um, <clears throat> was showing off my driving skills, chat. Auto drive now enabled. Perfect. That way I can survey people. Oh baby, oh baby, look at that! Adult film star, and he's an old man. Hell yeah! That's what I look for in my recruits chat. Elderly adult film stars. What a dream come true. Oh, chat, chat, chat. Oh, we're gonna get him. Auto drive now disabled. Fucking obeying traffic laws. What is this shit? Auto drive without those. Thank you. Handbrake X. Auto drive now no, handbrake circle. Ah! Whoop. Ah! I hit the wrong car! Where is this? Yeah, no, where, where's our objective? <laughs> I'm finding like every way not to get there and it's driving me up the wall. Find, them. Fi find who? I don't know what you're talking about. I have done nothing wrong, chat. Nothing wrong. Use GPS then? GPS is for winners, Josh. I'm too old for that. We don't know how to use GPS. GPS is for the youngins! God, that just sounds like Marv. Right. 
This is where our missing person disappeared from. If they were abducted, it would have been captured on CTOS surveillance. Right, I'll get the data. I feel like if I go through these, it's gonna immediately set off like a thing. People get hacks, so you're gonna have to get through the game without hacks. I don't know if that sounds right. No, he's dead. Apparently, that doesn't unlock until a certain point. So, we need to collect elderly people before we have permadeath. <laughs> 